Hello, I'm Matt Arndt. And I'm Bart Taylor. This is part one of two of winterizing your RV plumbing system, a very important part of maintaining your plumbing system. Many owners choose to have their dealers do this for them. If you choose to winterize the plumbing system yourself, you will need a few tools and supplies and approximately two hours of free time. There are two methods used to winterize an RV, compressed air or RV antifreeze. Today we are using the compressed air method which uses an air compressor to blow the water out of the plumbing system. Let's look at what's needed. You'll need a special adapter for connecting the air compressor to your water lines and one to two gallons of RV non-toxic antifreeze. Do not use automotive antifreeze. I repeat, <clears throat> do not use automotive antifreeze. It is poisonous and not for use in potable water systems. Both the adapter and RV antifreeze are available from your local RV dealer. Let's get started. If your RV is equipped with a black tank flush, use the adapter and compressed air to blow out any water that is in the system. Be sure not to exceed 30 PSI air pressure. Next, drain the water. Remove the low point drain caps for the water lines or open the valves and open all the faucets and outside shower if equipped to allow the lines to drain. Open the drain valve for the fresh water tank and allow it to drain completely. Verify the water heater is turned off on both gas and electric. Remove the water heater drain plug and open the pressure relief valve to let air in the tank and allow it to drain. If your unit is equipped with a tankless water heater, please refer to the operator's manual for the winterization procedure. If you have a water filter, remove and discard the water filter cartridge. Drain the water from the base and reinstall. If equipped, use the bypass tube for cartridge filters. Depending on the model of RV you own, you may have to remove an access panel to reach the bypass valves, or it may be located in a convenience center like this one. Turn the water heater bypass valve or valves to the bypass position. If you don't have a convenience center, the easiest way to locate the bypass valves is to locate the water heater on the outside of the RV. The bypass valves will be located on the back side of the water heater, on the inside of the unit, or in the basement storage compartment. If your RV has a residential refrigerator, the ice maker water line should not be winterized with antifreeze. Simply drain the line along with the rest of the water lines. Then close the ice maker shutoff valve located under the island. After the water has drained from the fresh water tank, turn the water pump on for about 30 seconds to clear out any water in the suction line and pump. Using the adapter, connect an air hose to the city water fill connection. Set the air pressure to no more than 30 PSI and blow out the water lines until no water can be seen coming out of the fixtures and the lines. Hold open the toilet valve until the water is cleared from the toilet supply line. Open the diverter valve on the shower faucets to clear the shower hose and head and don't forget the outside shower or kitchen if equipped. If equipped with a washer hookup, follow these steps. If there is a washer hooked up, turn the washing machine onto the fill cycle using a warm water setting to open both hot and cold valves. Allow air to blow through until no more water comes through. If there is no washer hooked up, open the hot and cold valves allowing the water to clear the lines. Empty the wastewater holding tanks at an approved wastewater dump station. Pour about one quart of RV antifreeze into each drain, P-trap, and the toilet. Leave a little antifreeze in the toilet to maintain the air seal. And don't forget the washer drain if equipped. Once the water is removed from the water lines, water heater, and fresh water tank, it's a good idea to reinstall the drain caps and plugs and close the valves to keep critters out of the fresh water system. That's all there is to it for the compressed air method. Be sure to watch part two where we winterize using the RV antifreeze method. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos to come.